The company that built the plane is called Eviation. They named their airplane Alice after Alice in Wonderland. Tuesday morning around 7 a.m. they rolled it out at the hangar in Moses Lake, Washington and took off for its first test flight. The plane flew up to an altitude of 3,500 feet and stayed airborne for about eight minutes. The company said the flight gave engineers invaluable data as they continue to optimize the aircraft for commercial production. The company's CEO said the groundbreaking milestone will lead innovation in sustainable air travel and shape both passenger and cargo travel in the future. And check it out, the plane produces no carbon emissions, significantly reduces noise according to the company, and operates at a fraction of the cost of light jets or high-end turboprops. There are a few other companies racing to build commuter electric planes as well, but Eviation appears to be in the lead. It could be a real glimpse of the future. Those of you who live on flight approaches around PDX, for example, one day imagine losing the roar of the jets overhead. And what if cargo planes and passenger planes all ran on batteries instead of jet fuel? It's so cool, I want to give you a deeper look at this. The plane also caught the attention of NBC's aviation reporter Tom Costello. Here's his report on it from last spring. In an aircraft hangar near Seattle, what may be the future of aviation, a battery-powered plane nicknamed Alice. Its propellers mounted on the back near the tail and one massive 8,000-pound battery. So the battery actually it starts from here, stretches all the way back to here. Made by the Israeli company Eviation, the plane is designed to carry just nine passengers on shorter hops. Think Portland to Seattle or Boston to Martha's Vineyard. At about the same speed as a prop plane, 400 miles in two hours. Roughly double the flight time of a 737, but quieter and smoother with nearly zero emissions. Company president Greg Davis. It looks like a flying Tesla behind you. We're really excited about this aircraft. Uh, you know, eventually uh, we believe that the electric aircraft is going to achieve dominance in this sector and we're prepared to support that. But first, it needs FAA approval. Former Navy and United Airlines pilot Steve Crane is Aviation's lead test pilot. It's like a Tesla. You step on the gas in the Tesla and you go. So in that way, it's very different. If all goes well, the planes could be in service within two years. Already, DHL Cargo is ordering at least a dozen, while New England's Cape Air is placing a very big order, 75 planes. Aviation promises a first-class interior, a smaller plane but wide with big windows. The most impressive thing about Alice is that it's going to be the most modern aircraft for the 21st century and beyond not only by design, but also the technology. But the competition is stiff among battery-powered aircraft designers. Wright Electric is developing a 100-passenger battery plane. Sweden's Hart Aerospace, backed by United Airlines. Airbus and Boeing are also working on designs. The biggest challenge, those massive batteries, too heavy to fly transatlantic or even across the country. Alice will need a 30-minute charge before each two-hour flight, but eventually, this is a nine-seater plane. Do you envision someday this could grow to the size of a 737? There's no limit to how far we're going to be able to take zero emissions aviation. Super interesting. Now to the